All right, BFit Nation. Looks like we are good to go. Looks like we are back for another Motivational Monday. Not just any Monday, though. We are coming off of a holiday weekend, so a special holiday when the holiday Monday workout for us today. Uh, let me pull up my Facebook Live workout, so that way I'm able to track you on any comments, questions, tips, tricks, modifications that you have. Uh, leave them in the comments below. But first and foremost, welcome to our BFit Live program workout, where we have the ability to focus on ourselves, to focus on building up our strength, our activity, our health and wellness, focus on us for just under a 30 minute workout available to you from our exchange BFIT Live BFIT program. Um, again, settle in, grab your towel, grab your water. If you have any resistance, like let's say dumbbells available to you today, uh, go ahead and grab those. Uh, if you don't, that's okay. We're just gonna make a few modifications to where you do not have used any dumbbells, any resistance, but if you do have dumbbells, go ahead and grab those uh once again um this is where we uh have created a hybrid workout for you a, a cardio and resistance based workout uh in just under a 20 minute compact uh workout so uh the timing for today team the timing is going to be 40 seconds of work 20 seconds of rest we'll go through four movements within four rounds within one with one minute rest in between each of those rounds once again 40 seconds of work 20 seconds of rest four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. All right, team, settle in. Once again, um, I will demo each movement. That way we know exactly what we're going to get into. That way we know exactly what we're going to tackle for today. Uh, we will jump into some dynamic stretching. That way we can get our bodies prepared, warmed up, ready to work. And then we will go into our workout, which is timed uh, nice and properly um, with our timer here. And then we can get, <laughs> get ready to work out um, again. So, uh, let's get settled in here. I will go through the four movements, listen for any coaching cues, any tips, any techniques, uh, any adjustments that you may need, may need to make on your end uh, within your space. But let's start off with movement number one. Let's just dive right into it here. Movement number one, we are looking at five squat pulses and two squat jumps, okay? So feet shoulder width apart, soft bend at our knees as always. We're gonna push our hips back <clears throat> and down into the lower part of our squat. So find that low part of your squat, wherever it may be to our comfort level here. All right, find that lower level here. We wanna make sure to keep our chest up, our knees are tucked in and in align with the, our toes, right? So we're gonna set those hips back, find that low portion of our squat. We're gonna do five squat pulses, which just means we're gonna come up a few inches and right back down into our low squat position. Again, keeping our chest up. So five squat pulses, nice and controlled. Out of those five squat pulses, we're gonna engage a little bit of fast twitch, a little bit of explosiveness into two squat jumps. So out of your five squat pulses, you have one, you have two, trying to get a little bit of air in between you and the floor. And then we are back down into five squat pulses and then two squat jumps. Okay, that's gonna be 40 seconds of work. And we will rinse and repeat for that 40 seconds. Okay, movement number two, we are working on our backs here. So. We're gonna grab a dumbbell, a single dumbbell. We're gonna take this up tall into standing position. Take a nice split stance here. All right, lead leg opens up into a nice wide open stance here. So your left hand is gonna rest and firmly be placed on top of that forward knee. We're gonna have that dumbbell on our right arm. We're gonna row up, really squeezing at the top. Really think about activating your mid to upper back and your lats here. So this is gonna be back work here. Nice, strong engagement all the way through, okay? From your neck all the way down to your ankle in a relatively straight line. So we have 20 seconds of work on one side, and then we will switch, alternate. Right leg goes up, left arm goes down, left leg goes back. Nice, strong stance here and engaging our lats. Once again, some back work here for movement number two. So we're working on controlling this movement down, bringing it down to a slow and controlled movement or movement number two. All right, team. Movement number three, we have a diagonal, a lateral lunge with a bicep curl. So we're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells here with that lateral lunge here. Think about a 45 degree angle. So if we're facing straight into our workout space, we're gonna, we're gonna lunge to the right here at a 45 degree angle, drop down with that rear knee, bicep curl at the bottom of the position. So chest is up, making sure that our front knee is in that 90 degree bend, right? Nice proud chest, bicep curl at the bottom, come back to standing. 45 on the opposite side, bicep curl, 
and then back to standing. So nice controlled movements to the left and to the right instead of forward or that full lateral motion. We're taking that 45 degree to incorporate a little bit uh, more of a different movement pattern here. All right. So diagonal lunge with a bicep curl for movement number three. And to finish this out with a little bit more cardio based movement, we have 10 mountain climbers and two shoulder taps. All right, team. So those 10 mountain climbers. All right. We're going to take that high plank position. As always, team, our hands are going to be stacked underneath our shoulders. Nice flat back, hips square to the floor. They stay square. Our knees are going to drive into our chest with those 10 mountain climbers. All right. After that, reset yourself, settle yourself, opposite hand to opposite shoulder. So right hand comes up to left shoulder, left hand comes up to right shoulder. Okay. Be mindful of your foot placement. Shoulder width apart. The wider your foot placement is, the foot base is, the more stability you're going to have when you come up into that shoulder tap. All right. So be mindful of that as well, but also be mindful of your hips staying square to your floor, square to the floor and your back is nice and flat. Okay. Think about activating your core really engaging as you drive those knees into your chest for those mountain climbers team. All right, any questions, any comments team, let me know. Again, I have us, um, <laughs> um, I have my video up and engaged for you. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the uh, comment section below. Um, with that, let's go ahead and get started team. So that, that Dynamic stretches is what we have up first. Don't worry, team, we're gonna get through this. <laughs> Dynamic stretches up first, okay? As always, we wanna prepare and prime our bodies. That way we know exactly what we're gonna get into, uh, exactly what we wanna do and warm up with in regards to the movements that we are about to tackle. So let's start off with a reverse lunge and a reach. We have some um, lower body movements here. So a reverse lunge would be a great warm up movement here. Let's start at the top of our workout position here. Right leg goes back dropping that right knee, right arm goes up and reaches over to your left. All right, extend back up to starting position, standing position, left leg goes back, left leg, left arm goes up and reaches over to our right. Really set into this, really set into this reverse lunge and really exaggerate our reach here, right? We really wanna focus on warming up those lats, really stretching out those lats. Each of these dynamic stretches will do for about 30 seconds. All right, team. So this is a great time to really feel out your body, feel out where you are today, really taking it in, knowing we may have had a nice, fun weekend. Maybe we've been seated for a little bit longer. Our hips are a little bit tighter. So quite all right here. We're up. We're reaching. We're actively moving here. Time to engage. Time to burn off some calories here. All right, team. Last one there. We're going to take a nice wide stance here for lateral lunges. So we're going to take our feet. We're gonna place them fix nice and straight here with our toes. We're gonna to shift our weight over to our right, back to center, pushing up those hips and to the left. Okay, team, gonna feel that stretch in the inside of your thighs. You're gonna feel some glute activation, quad activation here. Again, knees, ankles. We're just getting our body warmed up here to the movements, the movement patterns that we're about to accomplish and tackle for today's workout. We have a bit of everything here, full body workout cardio movements to really get our heart rate elevated, resistance movements to bring us back down, nice controlled breathing is what we're gonna call for. Good, last three here, two, one. All right, team. Let's go into a few body weight squats here just because I know movement number one, that's what it's gonna call for. So nice squat down and right back up team. A few body weight squats here just to warm up our legs here get that motion going, get that movement flowing with that movement pattern. So nice, strong body weight squat here for a few seconds here, then we'll slow it back down. Good. Blood flow is moving to the lower body here. I can feel it now. Keep it up, team. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, shake that one out. Shake that one out. Okay, let's go to hinge reaches here. A little bit of upper body, shoulders, lower back here. So take a nice shoulder width apart stance, feet, shoulder width apart, soften at our knees. We're gonna extend our arms up, thumbs facing the back of the room here. From here, we're gonna push our hips back, come into about a 45 degree angle, right? Push those hips back. We're really stretching out those arms up and we're back to standing. Nice and comfortable. Really think about 
pushing those hips back as if you were pushing in a car door, right? Pushing those hips back, your back is flat, your head is looking down as you hinge with those hips back down. Shoulders are nice and tall. Thumbs facing the back of the room once again. Last three, two, one. All right, speaking with those shoulders, just a few arm circles here to round us out. Right arm forward, nice big circles here. Good, let's go back, reverse here. Let me just open up our shoulders here. Three, two, one. Opposite arm here, forward. Nice wide circles. With those wide circles, you really can tell the mobility that you have with each arm on how much of a wide circle, a big circle you can tackle. All right. In reverse to finish this out. Here we go, a few more seconds here. Last three, two, one. All right, team. Grab that towel, grab that water, settle in. Again, I have my video up. If you have any questions or comments or modifications that you need or would like to see, drop a note in the comments below. Also, let me know where you're working out from. Where are you joining us from? Are you indoors? Are you outdoors? Where are you joining us from? Let us know again in the comments below. Um, as a recap, movement number one, five squat pulses, two, squat jumps. Movement number two is going to be a bent over row, left arm 20 seconds, right arm 20 seconds. Number three will be a diagonal lunge with a bicep curl at the top of the position. And movement number four, 10 mountain climbers and two shoulder taps. All right, team. Um, let me get my timer started and then we will be good to go. Hope everyone had a great weekend. All right, everybody had a great weekend here. <clears throat> Timer is getting started here. Again, ah, here we go team. All right, 40 seconds on the clock, starting in 10 seconds here. So body weight work only, five squat pulses, two squat jumps, starting in four seconds here. Three, two, one, here we go. 40 seconds on the clock, drop down to your low position here. We have five squat pulses few inches up out of your low squat position. Then we have two squat jumps. Nice and powerful, trying to get your legs up off the floor, your feet up off the floor, keeping our chest up nice and proud. One, two, good. We set back in those heels, okay? Five squat pulses, really engaging our glutes, activated our quads, our hamstrings, good. Last three seconds, two, one, and time. Good job, grab that single dumbbell here. We have a left and a right dumbbell row coming up. This is where we get to recover here. 13 more seconds. Eight seconds here. Dumbbells in my right hand, left leg forward, right leg back. Nice wide stance, left arm is on our knee. Here we go here, dumbbell rows here. Staggered stance. Really squeeze at the top, okay? Depending on the weight that you have, give me that nice, strong squeeze at the top. 10 more seconds here, then we are gonna alternate arms, alternate legs. In three, two, one, go ahead and take that weight to the opposite arm, switch those leg placements. Nice flat back, hips stay square to the floor. It's almost like a long lunge, right? Nice long lunge here. Five seconds here. Three, two, one. All right, pick up a second dumbbell here. We have lateral lunges with a bicep curl. Lateral lunges with a bicep curl. Again, you're at the top of your space here. You're gonna take that 45 degree lunge with a bicep curl coming up. 45 degree lunge with a bicep curl coming up in three, two, one. All right, team, you're at the back of your workout space here. Take that nice 45 degree lunge. You're gonna drop that rear knee down. You're gonna lift up into that bicep curl and stand back to standing position. All right, bicep curl, good. Nice control here is what we're talking about, name of the game here. Keeping that chest up, bicep curl, good. Last 12 seconds. Out in seven, finish it out with us. Out in three, 
two, last rep here, and we recover time. Good job. 10 mountain climbers, two shoulder taps coming up. 10 mountain climbers, two shoulder taps coming up. Good. Take a breather here. Take a second. We are on deck here in five. Last three, two. All right, team. 40 seconds of work here. 10 and two, high plank position. Hands stacked underneath your shoulders. Knees are rocking here. Driving to your chest. Out of those 10 mountain climbers. Nice high plank position. Right hand goes to left shoulder. Left hand to right shoulder. All right, team. Reset. Keep driving here to your pace. All right. 15 seconds. 10. Nice. Two. Try to keep those hips square to the floor. Out in eight. Last five. Three, two, one. And recover. Good job. Good job. Good, good, good. Let's recover here. We have 50 seconds of recovery work here. Really focus on breathing. Really focus on bringing our breath. Our breath cadence back down. Good job. Good first round. How do we like that? How was that for us? Good. Now's a great time to really think about stretching out any tight areas that you may have within your body. 30 seconds here before we start back at the top of our movements. Good. It's all about having fun as well. So don't forget to smile. Don't forget to enjoy yourselves. This gives us the opportunity to move, to engage, to really keep active, working on our health and wellness here. So it's all about the long game here. 10 seconds. Good. Keep our head up nice and tall. Five squat pulses and two squat jumps coming up in three, two, one. Here we go. Now we know the name of the game. Now we know the movements here. Let's go ahead and execute them to the best of our ability. Five, one, and two. Good. Five and two here. Good. Make sure we keep our chest up nice and proud into that low pulse. Right? We don't want to face the floor here. We want to face the front of the room. Good. Three, two, one. Good. Here we go. Eight more seconds to finish this out. All right. Now we should be breaking a sweat here. <laughs> Three, two, finish that one and recover here. 20 seconds of rest here. Then we will go into our reverse. I'm sorry. Our left and right staggered stance row. All right. 10 seconds here to recover. Let's go ahead and find. Good. There we are. Find that weight here, dial it in. 40 seconds on the clock, nice wide stance. Left arm is placed on your left knee. Your right arm is rowing. Again, back is flat. Your gaze should be about two feet in front of you. That's gonna give you a nice neutral spine. Three seconds here, we're gonna alternate. Two, one, switch that weight to the opposite side. Good, that dumbbell should come down. When it comes up, your arm wants to make that relatively 90 degree angle at the top. So if you are here, drop that weight to your waist level and then keep rowing. Last two, one and time. Yes, think about pulling. Palm to pocket, palm to pocket. 15 seconds here. 45 degree lateral lunge with a bicep curl. Coming up in five. Find the back of your workout space here in three, two, one. All right, team, 45 degrees. So we're out into that forward lunge, bicep curl at the top. Drive back up to standing position here. Good. Good, good, good. Nice controlled movements here. Again, that front knee is hitting that 90 degree bend as well as that rear knee. Really sit back in your hips. 15 seconds here. Good. Tuck in those elbows close to your torso for that bicep curl. Palms facing you at start. Palm facing your face at the top. And time. Good job. Recover. Ooh. All right. All right, team. We are warming up here. 10 mountain climbers, two shoulder taps coming up in 10 seconds. All right. We are looking good. We're looking good. 
Here we go, team. We are up in three, two, 10 and two. At your pace, at your comfort level, those knees, let's try to get them up towards our chest. They're up towards the hips. That's where we are today. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep rocking. Out of those two, remember to reset your foot placement to give yourself the most stability here. Good. One, two. Hips stay square to the floor. We can do it, team. Stay with us. Add in seven. Last five, then we get three cover. Finish this out. Three, two, one, and time. Woo. Round two in the books. Good job. Good job. Way to finish that one out. Give yourselves a bit of a bit of motivation there. <laughs> Good. This is again in between. This is that 30, 60 seconds of rest. 60 seconds of recover. You're down to 30 seconds here. So great time to shift your mindset to kind of recalibrate, see where we're at. I know we're probably pushing through. We are pushing nice and hard, but here's the chance. We're halfway through. We get to push a little harder, right? This is where we really get to make up and see where we are at today. We have a little bit more room for us. Let's go ahead and scale up on that resistance weight. Eight seconds here, five squat pulses and two squat jumps coming up in three seconds. Two, one, here we go team, 40 seconds on the clock. Find that low squat position once again. Out of those five, give me two nice and tall explosive squat jumps. Good, use those arms. Use those arms for momentum. Help them drive your body up. Get some air in between you and your feet. Good. Good. Last 10 seconds. Let's put all of that good food to work here. Five, four, three, finish this out, two, one, and time. Good job. Shake that one out, shake that one out. Grab that single dumbbell for your staggered stance rows. 10 seconds here. Find our breath, find our cadence here. Right hand has the weight, left leg is forward, right leg is back, hand placement, hinging, let's work here. Nice strong pulls here. Again, straight down, 90 degree bend at our elbow. Good, nice flat back, 10 more seconds here. Pick up the cadence, pick up the tempo, and we'll switch in five. Nice flat back, three, two, one, good. Good, good, good. Good, keep that chest up as well. That chest should be right above our knee. Last eight seconds. Our gaze is a few feet in front of us. Good, out in three, two, one, and time. Good work. Good work, team, way to finish that one out. All right, last movement again, 10 and two, 10 mountain climbers and two shoulder taps. All right, team, we are up in five seconds. Last movement, round three, last set. Here we go, 10 and two, high plank position. Let's drive those knees forward for those 10 mountain climbers. Good, out of those 10, reset. Right hand, left shoulder, left hand, right shoulder. And we drive it. Good, keep it up. I know it's getting tough. Stay with us. The best is yet to come, All right? We are almost done. Last 10 seconds. Good, keep pushing, out in five. Keep moving, keep moving those mountain climbers. In three, two, and time, good job. Ooh, ah, team. Dumbbells, pick up a pair. I know you're gonna correct me here. <laughs> Lateral lunges with a bicep curl coming up in three, two, one. We mix it up for this third round here. Lateral lunge here, drop down, bicep curl, drive back to standing. Good, drop that rear knee down, a little bit lower this time, drive up. Good. 
Good, nice compact movement. Your reverse lunge, sorry, your forward lunge. 18 seconds here. Good. Drive up, quads are doing all the action here at standing. Glutes activated, hamstrings activated. Engaging our biceps in six. Last three, last rep, finish this out. And time. All right, team. Won't happen again. <laughs> here we go. 60 seconds to recover here. Take our breather. Take that water break that we need here. Right. <clears throat> How do we do? How do we do with round number three? Let us know in the comments below what is the most challenging movement that we have during today's workout. Again, hydrate here. Great way to push through. Here's the time to recover. 26 seconds here. Again, with our exchange BFIT program, this is, we are here, here to help in any way possible, right? It's athletic apparel, sporting goods. We have you covered. Look in store, look online. Great deals all around. 10 seconds here, five squat pulses, two squat jumps coming up in five. Shake it out, let's get ready. Switch that mindset, last set, last round, best round. Here we go, five squats, two jumps. Good. Stay with us here. Let's finish out together, Dean. Good, nice strong jumps, all right? This is the last round. You won't see this movement again. Try and get some air between you and your feet. Good, I know it's burning. Keep your form, keep it tight here. Last seven. Out in five, three, two, one. Good job. Nice activation here. Ooh, shake that off here. Again, four point, I'm sorry. We have that staggered stance row coming up in 10 seconds. All right. This time my right leg is forward. My left leg has the weight. Left leg is back. Left arm has the weight in two, one. Here we go. Nice controlled rolls here. Really attacking our lats, activating our lats, keeping our back straight. Our posture is good. Relatively straight line from our neck down to our ankle here. Five seconds and we will switch arms and legs. Two, one, go ahead and alternate here. Good. Again, with our resistance training, think about control, think about form. Really go through that checklist from your foot placement, your knees, your hips, your back too, and your head. And recovery here, good job team. Good work. All right, go into those lateral curls here. Lateral lunges with the bicep curl. Round four, movement three. Good job today. Coming up in three seconds, find that back of your workout space here. Two, one, 40 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Down, reverse curl, right back up. Good, nice controlled movements once again. Good, really sit back in our heels. Squeezing at the top with our bicep curl. I know it's burning. It'll be worth it, right? It'll be worth it, team. Finish this out, last 10 seconds. Back to standing. It doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Let's keep pushing. Five seconds here. Two, one, and recover. Good job, finish those out, drop the weight. You will not see that again today. All right, team, it's the last move in here. Last time to finish this out, let's get down in that high plank position. 40 seconds on the clock. We are up in three, two, one. Here we go, team, 10 and two. 10 mountain climbers and your two shoulder taps. Core is nice and tight. Nice and engaged, really forcing us to stabilize and balance when we come up onto those shoulder taps. Last round, pick up our tempo. Good. Reset our feet. Hands should be underneath our shoulders. 15 seconds, sit out. Keep driving. At an eight. We got it, team. 
Finish it out. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Put a hand clap for BFit Nation here. Good work today. Awesome job, awesome job. As we collect ourselves, stand up nice and tall, nice and proud with a little cool down here. Now's a great time to really stretch it out, kind of freestyle here. Any tight areas that you may have, right? Go to take advantage of cooling our bodies down as we stay engaged here. Great work today. Again, way to start off our Monday nice and strong. Coming off of a holiday week, weekend. I know sometimes it can be challenging, but showing up, trust me, showing up is the hardest part. Putting in that effort is the hardest part, but finishing is so much rewarding, so much more rewarding to it. All right, team? Good work today. Again, great work, great work. Finishing us out, finishing us out here, catching our breath. Again, uh, with our exchange BFIT program, we have everything that you may need for your fitness, your health, your wellness journey, right team? We're finishing out this year with a few more weeks, four, five-ish, and then we are starting off a new year. Start thinking about the ending goal, how you wanna end this year, and then think about those new goals that you wanna place in step, in forward for the next year, right? 2022 is a great time to start those new goals. Start now, start thinking about them now, execute them starting the new year, as well as making progress towards the end of the year here. All right, team, it's a great time here. Again, with the exchange, we have things that you may need um, within our stores and online. Shop us both in store and online. And if you're looking for those smart snacking options, hit up our express stores with smart snacking options, tag healthier choices on each and every product label uh, within our express store. All right, team. Again, thank you so much for joining our BFIT Live every Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time is where you can find us here. Make sure and tag and share with your friends, your family members, your spouses, your coworkers, right? Keep each other accountable. Keep each other motivated during our fitness journey to stay active, to stay healthy, to stay ready, and to stay resilient, team. All right? BFIT Ambassador, we want this. Signing off here. Great work, everybody. Have a great rest of your week.